I'm Candy. I am the director of the Benedict Memorial Library, and I'm here to welcome you back to Limited In-House Services. We're going to start the in-house, Limited In-House Services on the 20th of July, which is this Monday. And what that means, it means you will be able to look at, come in and browse our collection. You will be able to buy appointments, use the computers, and you will be able to get faxing copying services. Now there's going to be some changes also because we have to change the way we do some things. One of the big changes that we're having, we have this sign here which will have all the changes on it as, they, as we go along because it can change as we go along. One of our biggest changes is face masks. I'm wearing them. You will see all of our staff wearing them. We do request that everybody wears them in the library. If you don't like wearing a face mask or it's hard for you to breathe through a face mask, we do have curbside service. We are very happy to bring anything out to you that you need from the library. It's just that we can't have anybody in without a face mask on. We want to protect everybody's lives. Please, wear your face mask when you're in public. Now, when you bring in books, you don't take them into the library. You drop them off in our drop box. It's outside by our kitchen door. It's right by what's now going to be the exit door. Our regular door is going to be the entrance. So you'll be able to go into the library and you'll be able to come out a different exit so that way you don't have crossing between people. Some other things have changed. We are limiting people down to six in the library total of patrons plus one to two of the staff people. So total is eight people. You need to maintain your social distance even though you are wearing a mask. And please use the entrance and exits. We will have the public computers open, but only one will be able to be used at a time. And it will be only for 30 minutes and you need to do an appointment. So call ahead so we can be able to set up an appointment for you and give you your full 30 minutes. We will have two iPads that will be available for use in the library, but you will not be able to print from an iPad. So if you need to print something, you will need to use one of our public computers. So shall we go on in and take a look at some of the changes we've made in the library? This is the entryway. We have set here a sanitizing area. Also, we have the bathroom. So if you do not want to use hand sanitizer, please go on in and wash your hands. Or you can use the hand sanitizer. And right here is where we've got the counters for people. When you come in, you take a counter. Yes, it's only a paint stick, but it's going to be our counters now. And you keep this with you until you go, until you go to leave. Then you give it back to whoever's working on the circulation desk. You need to take one per person in your group. So if you're coming in as a family, each person, adult or child, has to take one. Okay? Remember, we can't have more than six people. So, come on in. I'll show you some more of what is going on in the library. Now, try and keep it down so that we don't have people passing each other too much in the library. We're keeping the flow one way. You can go back if you have to, but we're going to be able to come down. And if you look on the floor, you'll see all of the arrows pointing which way the flow is supposed to go to. This doorway here into the center room is now closed. Please don't go through there because somebody might be on the computer or there might be somebody that was looking at movies there and we don't want to cross between them, okay? We have baskets throughout the library. So when you take something off the shelf and you look at it and decide you don't want it, don't put it back on the shelf. Take it and put it in the basket. We will come along and we will clean it and put it back later. It's okay. We are, we're here to help you. So come on. This is 
our fiction, fiction area for the young adults and for the juveniles. There's our new book thing here. Now this is the only danger zone we're going to have because people can be passing back and forth here. That's why we still need to wear the masks. With people passing back and forth, we may not be able to maintain the full six feet that we wish to maintain. So let's go to the kids' room. Now, the kids' room is smaller than our main room, so only three people can be in here at a time. So if you see that the three, three people are in here already, please wait for somebody to leave before coming back, coming in. We're trying to keep it down. We have set up the flow of the room, so that way you can go one way, and be able to see all of the books in the room. This is Frankie. She's part of our story owl mascot. Please, if you wish to see us at story time, please send us an email. We would be happy to send you the link for it. It is online. Now you can come on over here and be able to get to all of the children's, all of the picture books and board books. So, let's go chat. Let's go see the main room now. Come on. Okay. So this is, good. this is our main room now. This is the adult fiction area. As we have our arrows on the floor, the arrows come down and we go down this way to the center. And you can be able to wait to be able to get to the circulation desk. Or you can split and come back up either of the aisles to be able to find books that way too. This is where you, if you have everything that you want, you can stand here to wait for the next visit to be able to get up and be able to take out your books. Let's not crowd people up here. Please try and keep the six feet apart. Over here, we will have all of the, we have the computers. The center computer is no longer being used and we will have one computer on during the day. In the, more, in the top of the hour, it'll be this computer the second half of the hour, it will be the other computer so that we can clean this in between people. On top of the shelves are our, our new books. Our people will be behind a snow shield. So you can be able to place your books here for taking them out. As we said, before you even come into the library, we turn the books out and then our books drop outside. That will be taken out several times during the day and we will check them back in three days after we take them out. All of our books being returned have to go 72 hours before we can be able to check them in. Okay? Okay. All right, so we can exit through the kitchen. That's the way to get back out. Now, is this gonna be permanent? This is hopefully just temporary. We'll see how, how life goes. And hopefully soon we can get you back to full service. So I hope you keep safe and come and see us. We'd love to see you. We have missed you greatly. So hopefully we'll see you here at the library.